la fermentazione è un processo. The process of fermentation is divided into different phases. An initial phase, a development phase called the tumultuous phase, and a final phase where we approach the end of the winemaking process. During fermentation, the winery worker performs many different tasks. These include simple tasks like punching the cap. This is carried out when grape pulp inside the vat rises to the top of the fermenting wine as a result of the production of carbon dioxide and forms a cap which dries. There are two reasons why this is bad for the wine. First, the eventual color of the wine contained inside the skins of the grapes cannot transfer into the liquid. Second, there is a risk of acidification if the pulp becomes too dry. The fermenting must in the lower part of the tank is pumped towards the top to sort of wash the grape skins. It's a simple operation, which is carried out frequently during fermentation. Biological processes during fermentation cause temperature variations to occur that must be kept under control. In the case of red wine production, fermentation at low temperatures around 20 degrees enables the wine grower to retain more fragrances at the expense of the wine's fullness. This quality is important with young wines like Fraser or Bonada, whose bouquet has to stand out. Barbera instead is fermented at around 25 to 30 degrees. In this way, a broader extraction is obtained and, since the temperature is higher, more of the alcohol evaporates. So too, unfortunately, do some of the fragrances, so you obtain more structured wines but with a slightly lower aromatic finesse. It is important to check the vats repeatedly during the fermentation process. First of all, organoleptic analysis has to be carried out. This means tasting the contents of the vat to make sure that the aromas developing are pleasant and not bad smells. You also need to check that the taste is not too strong on the palate. Strong tastes are a sign that too many compounds are being extracted from the grape skins. Monitoring of this kind must be carried out on a day-to-day -day basis until fermentation is complete. The drop in sugar content and increase in alcohol content must also be monitored. Only when the sugar content has dropped to a minimum can the racking phase begin. Racking is the phase when the liquid, now almost finished wine, can be separated from the solid matter the grape pulp and seeds. Racking is done in this way. First, a valve located in the lower part of the vat is opened to separate the liquid that comes out from the grape pulp left inside. The grape pulp is then removed and placed inside the press where it is pressed to extract any remaining liquid. Although it produces a wine with lower quality taste, it is nevertheless worth reusing. The dried grape pulp is then taken to the distillery to be used in grappa production. Instead, the wine is moved to a clean, empty container where its aging can begin. E qui inizierà poi quello che viene definito il suo periodo di affinamento. <laughs>